This crystal growing kit was given to me by my sister, and I want to thank her very much for it. And we're going to look at it, we're going to see what's inside, and we're going to work and we're going to grow some crystals. So, inside the kit you get three different colored bags of crystal growing powder. You get the blue, the orange, and the white. Get a magnifying glass so you can watch your crystals grow. You get the crystal growing seeds. Now these are going to be the base that your crystals are going to grow off of. This is the incubators for the crystals. Now not only is it going to grow the crystals, but this is where you're going to mix the boiling water and the packets. And then this is what makes this really good for like a science class or something like that because it also comes with a poster so you can hang this up on the wall and you can read all about crystals and how they form while you are conducting the experiments. Now let's take a look at the directions. Cover your work surface with wax paper, plastic, or aluminum foil. Do not use newspapers. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Pick the color of glowing powder you would like to use. We're going to use all of them. Ooh, number three, ask an adult to help with this step. I will need 75 milliliters of boiling water. Slowly pour the water into the mixing tray. Well, first off, I am an adult, so I'm going to do this step unsupervised. Let me boil some water really quick, and then if I'm still alive, I will come back and show you the rest of the process. Okay, while we were waiting for the water to boil, I cut the tips off of the three different crystal growing powders. And I also removed the crystal growing seeds from the bags. So now what we're going to do is we are going to start the actual crystal growing process. And for that, I need my spatula. So here's my spatula. Now we want to pour this water into the trays while it's still boiling hot, okay? So that's why I'm using my cutting board here. I also use my knife to cut these off, and I'm not sure if that's because I'm sure there's some kind of chemicals in here, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. So I'm gonna take this off the heat, turn that off so I can be safe. Ooh, man, even that handle's hot. I sure hope it doesn't melt this, uh, these trays, but we will see. one's going to get some. Now the reason that we do this when it's hot is because when water is hot it can absorb much more than when it's cold. So that's why the water has to be really hot for this. I'm going to pour all my powder in. Now if I'm sure you don't have to use this crystal growing tray. If you were doing this as part of like a science experiment or a class, you could uh, you could do this in different different containers for sure. This is just nice and convenient because they're all together. All right, we're just going to stir this up. Now the important thing is we have to stir this until it's all completely dissolved. And again, that's why it's helping us that we have the uh, the really warm water because it's going to absorb all of that. Once that one's about done, I'm going to switch over, stir up my white. Now we have to let this cool to a room temperature before we put our crystal growing seeds into the mix. So, the solution is completely dissolved. They are about room temperature. You know, they're, they're a little bit warmer, but it's time for us to put our crystal growing seeds into each packet. So I'm going to put the blue into the blue. I'm going to put the white into the white. And then I'm going to put the orange into the orange. Now it says that I need to leave these for two to three days. And each day as the water evaporates, whatever crystals grow up on the side here, I'm supposed to wipe them away. But honestly, I'm not going to do that because I'm going over to my parents for the weekend, so I'm just gonna let these guys sit here and we are gonna see how they look in two or three days when we finally come back.
And here are the final product, the crystals that we've grown. They were completed in about four days. And you see the blue one here, it took the outline of the square container that was in with the orange and the white. I wanted to chip off this so it had a more natural appearance, but overall they turned out really beautiful and it was a great science experiment.